Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to make a beanie like uh, in the picture at the beginning of this video. So it's quite simple, it's mainly made with front post and back post double crochet stitches and with a nice lovely single crocheted rib stitch brim on the bottom of it. So it's quite a simple one, so let's dive into what you're going to need. Uh, today you're going to need a darning needle, something to cut with, a pair of little snippers or a pair of scissors will do fine. Uh, and today I'm going to use a 6mm crochet hook because I have this lovely squishy ball of James C. Brett Marble Chunky. So it's a chunky wet yarn and it's 100% acrylic. I have no idea what the shade name uh, num or number is for this. Uh, I lost the information a while ago but I do know it goes through the washing machine and occasionally tumble dryer. So let's get straight in and start on our beanie. Right, so moving on with our video with our 6mm crochet hook and our yarn, uh, I'm just going to make a simple slip knot. Pop that on there, not too tightly, and we are going to chain 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And then into our first chain, we're just going to place in there a single crochet and in each stitch along another single crochet. And then chain one, turn your work, and then all, the, all this is going to be worked in single crochets and uh, one chain at the end of each round. We're just going to go straight into the, uh, the back loop only of the next stitch, and the back loop only of ev every other stitch across the row. So from now on the pattern is uh, for the brim, it always in your back loops. This one can be a bit tricky to see because it kind of sits kind of uh, behind and down a little bit. So always make sure you're getting into the correct part of that stitch. Chain one, turn, and again just working into those back loops only on uh, your hat or on your brim. And the length of this will all depend on how big you want to make your hat, but the principles are always the same. So, I'm going to continue off camera. I'm going to make mine to about uh, about, 18, about 18 inches long today, because that will stretch around my head. To get the correct measurement for your head size, all you do is you put it round. If it's uh, way too tight, add some more stitches. But it should be a little bit smaller than your head circumference, so I recommend... If your head circumference is, for example, 20 inches, just uh, make it 18, 19 inches, depending on fit. So, join me for the next part of this video where we'll be putting a slip stitch join and starting our first row of our beanie. Right, so now we've done our brim, I've got mine to the right size, I've checked it around uh, my head circumference and it's going to be perfect. So. Uh, what I've done is I've finished on a row on the same side as my tail there. Just makes it a little neater when you're uh, finishing up. So what we're going to do now is a slip stitch, jo slip stitch join to put these two together. So I'm going to go straight through here and pull through and slip stitch. And then go through the next and just do this in every stitch. Uh, making sure you get the right stitch on each side. If it ends up a, a little bit wonky, just take it out and try again, it's fine. You know, it's, uh, it's all a learning curve. So, now we have that. I'm just going to chain one. And I'm just going to continue straight on with this pattern. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put one single crochet in, uh, in the top of every uh, rib and every uh, space in between. So, <coughs> just going to put one there. So just going into the top of each row. You know, it's, uh, don't have to be dead on, just as long as it's uh, as long as they're all evenly spaced, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. So I'm not I'm not doing any stitch counts with this. Uh, 
or anything, so don't worry about that. So just keep on working uh, your single crochet row until you get back to the beginning where I will catch you back there. Right, so I'm just uh, coming up to the end of that row and then I'm just going to slip, do a slip stitch join into that first uh, single crochet and then I'm going to chain one and this is where our pattern starts officially. Right, so what you want to do is we're going to do two front post double crochets, one round the next stitch, then one round the stitch after it. So to do a front post, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go through and behind this single crochet. Yarn over, pull through. So you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So that's, that's basically a front post double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go be, uh, through the next one. So you go behind and under and just work a double crochet like normal. Then the next two, we're going to do two back post double crochets. So it's the same principle apart from you come from, from behind. So behind, over, then come through and then finish off your double crochet. So again, come from behind, going over this uh, first uh, single crochet, come through and then finish like that. And then you're going to do two front post. So I will speed up a little bit. So two front post. And then two back post. So what you want to do is you want to continue working uh, two uh, front post and two back post all the way around until you get to the end. If uh, you want to make it so uh, since we started with two front post here you want to be finishing on two back post for this. So you might uh, have to go back a row to your single crochet and add in two extra stitches somewhere uh, along the way. You won't, you won't notice it but you do need to do them if uh, if you're finishing on two front post. So I will see you at the end of this row. Uh, so carry on stitching, take your time and make sure you have two of each uh, and not three because that will throw your pattern off. So I will see you in a few minutes uh, where we will continue. Right, so I'm just coming up to the end of uh, that second row there. So I've just got uh, two more stitches. So I'm quite uh, happy that uh, mine are two back row stitches. Oops, just get under there. Just like that. Now I just need to get some more yarn. Right, so what we're going to do is we are just going to slip stitch into this first uh, into this uh, first uh, stitch there, and chain one. We only you only need to chain one uh, because since our stitches are working uh, back, uh, in the front and in the back and not in the top, we don't <coughs> excuse me we don't need the uh, same height. Right, so since my first stitches were uh, two front post stitches, now I want to do two back post stitches. So it's exactly the same as the round before, apart from we're just swapping everything over. So whatever's a back post stitch is now a front post, and whatever is a front post is now a back post. So since I started with two front post uh, double crochets there, I'm now going to just put in two back post double crochets. And then my next are two back posts, so these are two front posts. And two back posts. So it, it's, a, it's a very simple pattern to do, you don't really have to think about it. As long as you get that first row right, it, you know, it all kind of falls into place. So I'm just alternating my stitches now. So 
So we're just going to do this all the way around and then I'll start you off on the uh, next round and then I'll tell you how many rows to do. So I will be back in a few moments. Right, so I'm just uh, at the end of my row. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip stitch into this chain one space and chain one again. Right, so the next round, what we're going to do is, since these are the back post, these are now our front post. So, I, I, I think you might have guessed what we're doing by now, alternating rounds. So, it's, it's easy to follow, you just have to uh, see what you've done on the previous round to know what you're doing on the next round. So, you don't really have to uh, pay attention to uh, any particular patterns or anything. So... I don't I actually have an exact row count because everyone's a slightly different size. So what you want to do is you want to keep on making rows until uh, until it's about I think for this one until it's about uh, eight, eight, eight inches in total. That's normally uh, standard uh, for a uh, hat. So what I, what I will actually do is uh, I'm going to carry on working and I will try to put a, a picture in and I'll flash a number to how many rows I've done. So uh, what I'll do is I'll catch back uh, when we have nearly a full hat done. So carry on working uh, just like we have been doing and I will see you in a minute. Right guys, so I have 14 rows. Uh, now, so we're going to start. I'm going to start closing this hat up. So what I'm going to do is, I've uh, I'll finish that round and I have chained one. And I am start starting off with two front post double crochets. So I'm just going to put two front post double crochets in this first two stitches. And then there's two front posts here, which would be back posts, but I'm just going to skip right over them. And I'm going to put two, uh, go back into two front posts on the next. So I'm missing these entire two stitches. So what I'm going to do is I just want to get these a little bit, a little bit tighter. And then I'm going to skip these two front posts and go into these two back posts here with two front posts again. And I'm just going to continue doing the same for this round. So I'm going to do the rest off camera and follow me for the next part, uh, the next uh, row, row of this uh, beanie. Right, so I'm just coming up on the end of my row. Uh, so as you can see, I've got two front posts here, so I can't do any more. So I'm just going to go straight into the chain one there for a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain one, and I'm just going to carry on. So what, what I'm going to do for this round is I'm still going to be working front post stitches. So I'm going to put one front post in this stitch. And now I want to do two together. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm coming underneath this one. And there's a bit of a gap here. And I'm coming under the second one. So I'm kind of putting these two uh, together. Just like that. And this is how I'm going to work for the rest of this round. So I'm putting two together so it's one from each block so that one and that one coming underneath both of them and so on takes a, a little uh, a little getting used to doing two together but if you uh, just take your time with it and try and get them uh, you want these to be fair, reasonably tight uh, so there's no big gaps in the top of your beanie 
Oh, I'll just do these on camera. It's a relatively short round. So just two together. Should be coming up on the end of my row pretty soon. Right, I've just got one more stitch, well, two more stitches to put together for the end of this round. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip stitch into the first stitch from the beginning of the round and pull through some yarn. Now, um, you want quite a bit because we're just going to do a bit of uh, weaving now and a bit of sewing. So we've got no more uh, we've got no more stitching to do, and I'm just uh, going to pull out my uh, lovely assistant again. You've probably seen uh, this uh, little guy in uh, my other videos. Just makes my life a little bit easier and I'm going to pop my beanie on so I so do, do apologize if you get a bit of glare on here so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up clo closing this so I'm going to I've got my needle threaded and I'm just going to go from from the back to the inside just like this and I'm just going to weave around each each stitch going through both loops and I'm going to go about a quarter way around and then give it a bit of a tug uh, and that will start to close it. If you if you do it towards the end, you end up risk, you risk breaking your yarn. So it's always better to do a couple and then turn it around and then just keep going. Makes a really nice te texture on the top of this uh, beanie also with those uh, putting these uh, stitches together. So we're just going to carry on working, keep keep stitching round, keep pulling your yarn tight until you get back to the beginning and you should be left with a, a little bit of a hole as you can see which you can just pop a couple of stitches a couple more in, keep going until it's completely uh, completely filled over and this is this is why we put the two stitches together here uh, because if we didn't we'd just have too many too many stitches to contend with so I'm just going to weave in a couple more times and pop in a couple of uh, slip knots in there with my needle just like this and this will just just give it a bit of extra security now you can either weave in this end uh, completely uh, so you can't see it and then uh, chop the end off or you can leave enough uh, to sew a pom-pom I'm not going to put a pom-pom on today uh, but if you'd like to put one on at home feel free uh, you, know, you can either make one out of the uh, leftover yarn you have or if you like the fuzzy store-bought ones brilliant, go for it, it's completely up to you, you know, uh, so yeah I'm just going to weave that in a little bit down here because that's plenty of stitches for me and this yarn tail will just work itself in just like that so there we go all what's left to do now is uh, weave in any ends what you might have and you have one finished uh, really nice textured warm winter beanie there right don't forget to uh, add an uh, add me onto Instagram as Crochet Kyle and like and sub subscribe to my channel on uh, here on YouTube. And until next time, I will see you again soon. Bye.